welcome to Live Happy Here with Eric Roby, showing you the best South Florida has to offer in real estate and lifestyle. South Florida is full of neighborhoods that are little gems waiting to be discovered. One such place, the historic section just south of downtown West Palm Beach. So what does it cost to live happy here? It really runs the gamut from multi-million dollar homes to starter family homes to even cute little cottages if you're thinking about downsizing. I'll show you what it's like to live in El Cid, Flamingo Park, and Grandview Heights so that you can live happy here. Starting off our home tour here in historic El Cid, this is one of the best deals. 324 Sunset Road is a postcard of a home in a park-like setting. Let's go inside. It's bright, it's airy, it's wide open. Check out these terrazzo floors, lovingly restored from the living room into the family room, and then right back out to this large backyard. In fact, this is one of the largest backyards up for grabs in El Cid. This two bedroom, one bath home is the best deal to get into this multi-million dollar neighborhood priced at $499,000. Bob, what a great house. It's wide open, it's airy, it's bright, but what I like most about this property is its setting. Well, thanks, Eric. You, you know, you're right on target with that. This is a real unique opportunity for somebody that wants to get into the El Cid area, which is probably one of the nicest areas in all of West Palm Beach. The yard is incredible with endless opportunities. So it's basically a value added proposition as well as a wonderful home as it is. Introducing the newest member of El Cid, this stunning 9,600 square foot brand new mansion sits along the Intracoastal with a private dock. 2914 Washington Road is a Bermuda style home and is an expression of modern perfection on the inside with six bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms. And you can't forget about the glass wine vault and also the guest house. Who wouldn't love cooking in this modern kitchen? You have an entire slab of onyx for the island. You have lacquered Italian cabinets, five different ovens to choose from. And I love this a hidden pantry so you can hide everything and get it out of the way. The real showstopper of this amazing home is this 45 foot infinity edge swimming pool, the 100 feet of waterfront and the deep water dock. It's all about the lifestyle, living on the water. What could be better than living on the water in South Florida? Live out your dreams for a listed price of $13,500,000 at 2914 Washington Road presented by The Fight Group and Leslie Holby. Still ahead, why shopping in this neighborhood could have you bumping into celebrities like Martha Stewart. And want to live like a local before you buy a house? I'll take you inside this historic home that was nearly knocked down by a wrecking ball and has been turned into a luxurious, one-of-a-kind bed and breakfast. Live Happy Here with Eric Roby continues next with more reasons to smile. Smack dab in the middle of this very walkable, paradise-like setting is Illustrated Properties' West Palm Beach office. Debbie Zuloga and Elisa Gordon know why the historic area has grown to be one of the hottest markets in South Florida. Moving to the historic West Palm Beach area would be wonderful in regards to all sorts of family, lots of events happening, boating, fitness, restaurants, shopping, there's coffee houses, different murals that you can go check out. It's a wonderful area to live. I think it's where you find the new and the old meeting together. You find the old homes that are untouched, but you will also find the nightlife that you are probably looking for in amazing restaurants. You can tell by looking around, this is a picture perfect neighborhood, but what do the numbers tell you? Let's look at the stats to see the picture that it paints. Starting with El Cid, right along the water, it is by far the more expensive neighborhood with a median price of a home now at $1.4 million. Incredibly, that's gone up 48% over the past year. 75% own their homes and a lucky 777 people live in the neighborhood with the median age of 46. 
That's just the analytical side, but it can't show you the personality of the community. Sandwiched in between City Place and Antique Row, more shops are moving in. Also great restaurants like Grotto, Table 26, and Kitchen. Speaking of that shopping, let's check out Shop 561. This store carries a collection of items you can't find anywhere else. And you can shop without guilt. 10% of sales goes to stop human trafficking. Joining us right now is the owner of Shop 561, Janelle Lang. Now, Janelle, in addition to shopping, you also offer experiences. What is that? Our class that we've done in the entire five years that we've been open is soap making. So I've got some samples of soap making here for you. So all natural, you can choose your minerals to color it, exfoliants, all that good stuff. Well, this shop is great. You have to come visit. I wish I could somehow let you smell it. It smells amazing with all amazing. this Amazing, all essential oils. <laughs> Janelle, thank you so much. If you're not sold yet that you can live happy here, I have the solution for you. We're on the grounds of Casa Grandview, which is a bed and breakfast, and also a collection of small cottages that you can rent out. The property also features this rare Art Deco style apartment building turned into vacation rentals. But it's the main house, it's the centerpiece that's operated as the bed and breakfast. Let's go inside. It's like stepping back in time. What makes this property even more incredible? This was two houses about to be demolished. Both were saved, moved to this location, and then the two houses married together to make up the backbone of this luxurious bed and breakfast. Keeping South Florida's history alive takes a lot of dedication. And when it comes to rebuilding historic homes like this one here, that's been through the hurricanes, termites, and anything else that we've thrown its way over the past 100 years, it takes expertise. Joining us right now is Paul Newman, not the actor, but the builder. Paul's been rebuilding these old homes for more than 30 years now. In the backyard now, and Paul, you've really turned this into a tropical oasis. We have the brand new pool, all the plantings. Now, this house was built in 1924, and it needed a lot of work. What did you do to it? Well, we brought not only just the architectural things that we, you can see from the surface, but it's also what's you know under it and what we bring to it. You know, doing electrical, plumbing, gas, sort of like uh, bringing a diamond from the rough. What I really love about this home is it still has that historic flair, but it is truly ready for modern day living. So do you think you can live happy here? This is a tropical paradise that holds tightly onto its past. But as you've seen, it also has all of the comforts and luxury of today. Now you know why you could live happy here. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Roby.